So I've been to California more times than I can recall, and during those trips I've visited Disney World, Sea World, Magic Mountain, Six Flags, Universal Studios, Mammoth Lanes, Alcatraz Island, and just about any other big attraction that you could possibly think of. Common across every major attraction in California is one thing. You're going to spend more time waiting in line than you are actually doing anything. The situation at Mammoth Lake Ski Resort was so bad that I literally renamed it to Mammoth Lines. I was in line for 45 minutes to get my prepaid lift tickets. The lines to get on the lift ranged from 20 to 30 minutes and this was not just at the base, this was throughout the day all over the mountain. You were in line to get food, you were in line to go to the bathroom, you were in line to get a drink of water. I'm not joking. And by the way, I was there midweek. I cannot imagine what that place would be like on the weekend. So when they made the decision this time around to go to Hearst Castle, I was fully prepared for the cattle boxcar experience. And boy, do I have to tell you guys, was I pleasantly surprised. About a hundred years ago, Mr. Hearst was able to curate and pay for things that these days would be considered national treasures. Ceilings from ancient church cathedrals, walls and stone carvings from tombs and mausoleums, Egyptian stone statues that are thousands of years old. He did some very questionable things, like, for instance, in the creation of this bathhouse overlooking this amazing pool. They used elements from three different sites, and then to make the statue of Neptune fit in the middle, they cut off his legs. On the other hand, one might thank Mr. Hurst for preserving these things, because auctions for these types of items were quite common a hundred years ago and most of the items sold have effectively disappeared. Now I can tell you that I've done a little bit of European travel as well. I've been to the Sagrada Familia, I've been to the Alhambra Castle, I've been to the castle at Seville and a number of other historical sites in Lisbon as well as ancient monasteries in Armenia and Ukraine. And among all of those places Hearst Castle stands out for being just so densely packed with history and detail. The place is not that big, but every room that you go into just has so much. A history or design nerd could point out the fact that it is a complete mishmash in there. He procured things from different parts of the Mediterranean, from different ages, in different styles, and had his designer put it all together. But the quantity of stuff that is in there and how interesting all of it is and how well preserved it is is just absolutely amazing and I was blown away. But the thing that just jumped out and slapped my presumptions in the face was how well this place was ran. There were no lines, everybody was polite, the tour guides were fairly knowledgeable, and it's a sizable operation. The visitor center has like three different restaurants, there was a gift shop and everything else. I didn't eat there, but the food looked pretty good. Everything was organized, everything was on time, and I almost shudder to say this, but the costs for everything were reasonable. I have no clue about how they're doing with their budget, but the peripheral of what I saw was that this was literally the best ran thing I've ever seen in the entire state of California and whoever is responsible for it deserves some serious recognition. On the aggregate, Hearst Castle is absolutely worth seeing. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs>